Hi guys, welcome back. This is Srikant. Today in this video, I will be talking about very important things. This thing is very essential to know as a, as a developer or as a DBA or as a new beginner. Because you know, sometimes what happens, we work a lot on the very big things. Like uh, we work on the, some execution plan, we do a lot of things. But sometimes we forget some basic thing right so i have observed a lot of people does not know the difference of the system databases they only know there are only few system databases. sometimes they forget it also so let's talk about that concept and that part is called as the system database today in this video i'll be talking about system database so there are five type of system database one is master second is stemdb third is model and next is msdb and fifth is resource db So these are only five system databases which we should know. At least we should know the difference between each of them. So I will try to explain the basic difference in between them in this video. So what is master database? Master database is a database which store the log login information, link server information. So basically it will store all the information which require uh, while starting the SQL server. So if your system doesn't have the master database, your server won't be start. So for starting the server, we require this database. So master database is very important. So take a regular backup of master database in case some failure occur. Next is model database. So model database is the model for all the newly created databases we can say it will be a template for the newly create database if i'm going to create a new database and i want to explicitly have the few procedure few functions few uh, users then when i then then all those things will automatically be created in the new database so this is so this model database is very important you can say it's a template for other databases next is msdb sql server support lot of things like uh, sql server jobs jobs then auditing information then service broker information all this information are stored into this database msdb so if there are a lot of job if we are working if we are dealing with the sql server agent jobs so those kind of history information those job related information are present in this database so msdb is very important jobs um, service broker and few other thing In model, it's a template for other database. Next is TemDB. Tem basically, TemDB is a database which is considered as a workplace for all other query which require uh, temporary data processing. So all the query which require some temporary processing, temporary work workspace, those query get you get uh, get used by this database, TemDB. TemDB queries. Next 
Next is resource database. Resource database is a database which has all the system objects information. So basically all system objects are present in this database. So this database is very important to have. We can't see this database in our normal uh, system database section here like this. But we can access it through some view. Basically this is just a DLL file. So research database is just a DLL file. We can't uh, physic we can't see it in the system database section but this is present and this database store all the system object information hope you understood the different system databases and thanks for watching